Welcome back to another day on the Lorcana Pixelborn client. Today, we're playing the deck with the perfect defense. Perfect defense! This deck wants to take advantage of two keywords in Lorcana, resist and ward. Resist is an ability that takes damage and reduces it by a certain amount before applying it to our characters. Looking at Hercules, Divine Hero, we can see he has resist too. Basically, if damage was sent to Hercules and it was one or two damage, then Herc would reduce it by two and take zero damage, while three damage sent to him would only deal one damage. And then there's the ward keyword, which is identical to hexproof for our Magic the Gathering fans out there. Basically, to sum ward up, your opponents can't choose a character with ward for anything other than targets of attacks by their characters. This means no let the storm rage on, no strength of a raging fire, no dragon fires. If it targets, it's a no-go. With that being said, our most interesting two cards in the deck are Cogsworth Grandfather Clock for having Ward built in and his special ability Unwind, and Sardine Can. Cogsworth's Unwind ability gives all other characters we control resist one. With two Cogsworths in play, all of our characters would have resist two and each Cogsworth would gain resist one, thanks to the other being in play. Characters like Hercules who already have resist would have that number increased, two plus one for each Cogsworth in play. Then there's Sardine Can, a four cost inkable item card that gives ward to all of our exerted characters. While exerted, our characters are vulnerable to being attacked, but fully protected from targeted removal. That's where the global resist mechanic comes into play. If they can't actually do any damage with an attack, then we're protected from that as well. And to make sure we're exerted all the time, we simply need to quest. So in essence, we need to do the thing required to win the game, questing, in order to gain the perfect defense that will keep our characters alive. Occasionally, our opponents will have something with quite the attack power that could give us real problems, but that's where our three bodyguard characters come into play. Hercules True Hero, The Prince Never Gives Up, and Donald Duck Musketeer. When our opponent finally has the ability to do some damage, they'll be forced to fight one of these three characters and not our Cogsworth keeping our resist active. This deck should play with a lot of flexibility. No one, two, three combos here. Just get some characters in play, ink each turn, and get Sardine Can and Cogsworth in play ASAP. The only problem card you need to be cautious of is be prepared. It doesn't do damage and it doesn't target anything. That one card will clear the board with ease. So if you know you're playing against Ruby, be wary of turn 7. With that all being said, let's jump in and see if we can't win a few. The mirror match. Okay. So resist will be very helpful. We need to get some cogs worth. Sardine can's also pretty good. And I do got the turn 1, turn 2 set up. Let's get rid of the uninkables, including the tabard. Ooh, I got to turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five. We are set to win this game. Bye-bye, <laughs> Donald. Hello, Popsicle. Ooh, and we got a tabard. That has to come after the Cogsworth, but still. Pretty cool. Ooh, okay. So, Hercules has the ability to shift which is huge but bodyguard here with his resist one becomes a resist two he actually becomes really tough any quest for two so we're actually going to go for the prince we got an early noe down the ward is huge opponent can't target it with stuff Two princes isn't bad. It's going to be a little slow, though. That Prince Eric's going to actually be a problem. It's going to stop us from questing. 
Hmm. I do really want Beast for to restock our hand, but we might actually end up needing both princes. Well, go big or go home, right? Let's go bodyguard. Past turn. And by go bodyguard, I mean, <laughs> I mean we're gonna wait. I wanna get my uh I wanna at the very least get sardine can down. I don't wanna have you know prince attack and then have targeted removal. No Judy Hops. Love it. Okay, we could actually take down the prince if we're have to give up something though. This is definitely our Sardine Can turn. If I Sardine Can quest quest, then both of the characters can take out the Prince. Definitely want to get Cogsworth down. All right, let's just set up. Sardine Can pass turn. Yeah, opponent has to read it. Nobody plays Sardine Can. Let's see if they play another Judy Hops to get rid of it, though. They might. They might. They don't. I was afraid of that. Always uninkable. All right, that resist two is huge on the prince. And now I'm fully warded, protected by a resist two prince. We are actively difficult to deal with now <laughs> they get free attacks on the prince with their own resist one though they are gonna quest and they give up they can't deal with our level of protection discard chaos discard could be challenging for us Got the Noe, got the Popsicle. That's fantastic. Grab Your Swords is actually really good if they are going to be the Bucky Prince John. Let's send everything else home. That's a lot of uninkables. <laughs> Would have actually really enjoyed having a Herc into a Herc for a turn four swords. So far, so good. A Megara and uh like Megara cares about attack. This might not be a hand discard. This could be like a Pete, Pain and Panic. Here goes a Cheshire Cat. Still, sword's probably pretty good. If I can find a way to uh filter some of these, I will. Targeted removal though, man, that sardine can. Alright, Cinderella. Too expensive. Get the heck out of here. Popsicle. <laughs> Hi, Cinderella. We missed you. Mm, thought opponent had clocked out. Flynn Rider. It's gonna be in a, an aggro deck with some uh, with some removal. That's what I'm feeling here. We're gonna have to do a little bit of catching up, but the resistant ward should be really good for Noe. Till opponent plays a Prince Eric or a Captain Hook here. <laughs> yep, quest quest. I'm okay with that. Sorry, Tink, too expensive. The only thing is you can really do if you have all these uninkables is you have to play the uninkables. I am going to go for a Storm Rage on here instead of another Noe. It'll slow down my opponent and it will let me draw a card. And ideally an inkable. There we go. All right, time to get back in this race. Or in the race in the first place. Here we go. There's a Hans. Oh no, it's the Hans. Glad we drew a card. Hmm. So far, opponent's not presenting a lot of like targeted removal. I'm not sure that this is. I mean, 
I would imagine he's going to be inking it or finding a way to discard it with cards like Simba. Haven't seen either of that. Obviously can't target with the ward. I don't know if we need the sardine can. Might be important to get down a prince. Because if I do a, a, a tabard now, the next turn I'm looking at a grab your swords. Prince will be a while, so I think Prince needs to come down now. If we go bodyguard position, no we can quest. Hans only does two points of damage thanks to the bodyguard. But he'll actually resist it. So let's do the bodyguard. And in this way, he may just end up questing with it. Which would be perfectly fine for us, because I will happily play a swords and take out his board. And if he wants to do the attack with Hans... Oh, he's going to utilize two removals. He was just waiting for us to be vulnerable. Okay, Swords actually isn't very strong right here right now. Hmm, these would be nice. I just don't have any bodyguards. It's basically set up for a future turn. An opponent could be running Swords. No, he will survive a Swords with the resist one. But he won't resist. Won't. No, he won't survive an attack from Hans. Hmm, it's tough. I think we go Noe. And we quest. If Hans wants to get the attack in, I think that's fine because the one point of damage Hans takes makes it lethal for grab your swords. Just going to see quest from the opponent. I get it. They want to go for that race. We don't have a lot of options here. Opponent's winning this race. They're ahead of us and they quest for more. See, this only does a single point of damage. When another sword takes out the Hatter. Okay, it's ink. We'll see how many threats they quest for. It might be a lot. Our deck really doesn't want to be in the position of trying to take down our opponent's board. It wants to be in the position of our opponent trying to take down our board. And unfortunately, we just... Like, these cards were just so bad to have. And unfortunately, I just have to spend another turn on a swords I don't want to play. Really good for my opponent. That I had to use my swords there. Alright, Tinkerbell does nothing. But it is a problem. If I quest with Noe, Tinkerbell doesn't quest. If I wait, they go to 14, and then I go to 14 with a bodyguard down. I think I wait. The ward is huge. Steel really doesn't like ward, and resist from Cogsworth right there is also big. So Noe's actually has resist too right now. So not only can they not target, but like their global removal just doesn't do a lot. So like they don't have many options. Their options right now basically are quest. Play a character and quest. And with Tinkerbell in particular, Tinkerbell may be able to attack and harm Donald Duck. Even if she could defeat Donald Duck, uh, she can't target Noe or Cogsworth with the additional two points of damage. If our opponent accidentally misclicks and says, yeah, let's do some damage, they have to select one of their own characters. I think they can wait for a timer to cancel the effect, but... I'm giving away uh, the new Rise of the Floodborne booster box this month, January. I'll be giving them away February 4th-ish during a live stream. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed 
uh, a member of the Discord channel, and most importantly, share each and every video that you come across. Those three things is all you need. That'll get you in for the raffle. We'll be doing the live stream again in February, early February. Uh, don't miss your chance to win a free booster box. Ooh, going first. Do you like that? All right. Very expensive hand. We're going to get rid of that, 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 and that. We're only going to keep the Prince and the Cogsworth. Mighty expensive hand. This is actually disgusting. <laughs> We're going to try. I mean, at the very least, it's ink. All right. Not what I want to see. You know, a majority of this deck is three drops and lower. There's a three drop. Thank you, deck. Hmm. I have to ink my Cogsworth, man. I really do like wanting to have multiples out there. Gotta give myself the chance to have the beast. I know, I could have played this first. I know. There goes a Horus. And a Cheshire Cat. Interesting deck so far. Still gonna get rid of you. We don't need to go into bodyguard mode. I have a- my swords will take out his cat. I just want to see how much other stuff we can take out as well. Radigan. Interesting. All right, let's just get my board ready. Sardine can. No abilities on you? Okay. There goes another rat again. They really don't want their 4-1 flying evasives? It's probably smart. I mean, they know I'm playing steel, so swords is an inevitability. Ooh, I had to sneeze there. Excuse me. Um, uh, I think you're ink. Swords isn't huge. But it will allow Herc to pretty much trade with the entire board. Even if I do Cogsworth, Hercules still just trades with Horus. If I do Beast, however... I do set myself up for drawing more cards, and it's something that can sing the swords next turn, and then I don't have to pay for it. Yep, we gotta deal with the Sisu too. That's a... Uh, that is definitely something that we need to deal with. There's a lot of evasive characters. Alright, two, two is nice. Another bodyguard. Alright, so I think we're definitely singing the swords here. I'll have Hercules take down the Sisu. I play the Cogsworth first, he only takes a point of damage. So then he's still trading with Horus. <laughs> That's just what's going to happen. And if I keep playing bodyguards, Beast will keep doing good stuff. Okay, I think that's the play. We will sing. I will Cogsworth. That'll give me some resist. And we're going to ink the Noe. We'll take down the Sisu. I do leave myself open. Horus trades with Hercules. Alice gets the point of damage when they turn off our card draw. For a turn, Popsicle will reheal. It could go the other way too. Horus could quest, boost Alice, and then Alice takes down Hercules. That is a lot of Alice. Is there a nice in here? There's not. I want to give him the thumbs up. Three Alices. Alices. 
opponent does nothing, huh? Well, I think we got we just quest with all, right? Then play Tinkerbell. They don't defeat the Horus. Now they don't actually have something strong enough to defeat Hercules. They do. I, it's quest, quest. Strong enough Alice here to trade with a Hercules. <laughs> but it is there. I will ink. We'll have double prints. Now again, I could have healed Hercules, in which case their Alice's aren't technically strong enough. They'd have to play something else. And there it is. Hey, there we go. That's a deck from yesterday. Let's see if they're playing my same list. Get to go first. Got the Cogsworth. Popsicle for a nice setup. Look at this, it's all ink. I would love this to be a Noe though. All right, let's get rid of the princes. They're really nice, but they're a bit expensive. And I'll just replace them with other expensive and some uninkables. Let's just do it that way. <laughs> Alright, definitely don't need two Donalds. Probably won't ever get around to Herc, if I'm being honest. Not without the shift, and it's just not in our foreseeable future. And here comes, I was going to say little Herc, just to mess with us, but it wasn't. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. We got some ruby problems, but we get to go first. A couple of noes in a sardine can. Let's see if I can't. I mean, the curve's kind of low, but let's see if I can't get a popsicle. When am I getting Hercules down with the two noes? Well, at some point, we're getting Hercules down with the two Noes. <laughs> okay. Hmm, Cinderella's nice, though. I do want to keep the Cinderella in case we get an uninkable we don't want. It's so tough, though. It's like the only thing I want to ink. <laughs> it's the only thing I want to ink. That's unfortunate. The bodyguards are just so good, especially when they're protecting Noes. Go Noe, we go Bodyguard, we go Sardine Can. Alright, Noe down. Vulnerable at the moment, but Noe's down. Could see a teeth from our opponents here. While the Noe is still vulnerable. Ward, huh? Opponent wants to play the Ward game. Wow, another Noe. We're never going to get to it, right? <laughs> All right, let's go bodyguard. Let's go on a quest. A bodyguard with resist. Man, that's just fantastic. Yeah, keep touching Noe. You're going to send both your characters at it? Or are you going to hit me with the teeth now? Oh, do the teeth. That would be hilarious. Because, yes, both your characters have to attack it to do the teeth. Hmm, gonna pump the attack. Man, they put everything they had into that. Just to get rid of my bodyguard? <laughs> okay. Le fou, le fool. Another prince. See, it does throw off my curve. But I could play another pr I mean, it took everything they had to deal with it, right? So let's just do it again. They obviously have problems with it. <laughs> they spent a lot to get rid of it. And if he survives, I think we go Cogsworth. See, this just boosts the attack of Aladdin. Yeah, plus two attack. It's just enough. He can trade his Aladdin. 
Scimitar. Wow, you don't see that. Why does Scimitar have evasive? That yeah, is weird. All right. Let's go beast. Let's try to draw some cards. It's definitely a target for our opponent too. If we play Cogsworth, we're not going to get cards out of our opponent's hand. And the opponent's doing a really good job of emptying their hand. Cinderella, that's a good card to have. And it might just have it next turn with the Cogsworth up. All right, Cogsworth is something they can't target. So again, if we have another Dragon's Fire, Cinderella is vulnerable. But, you know, you can only do so much. Let's see, Scimitar only boosts the attack of... Yeah, one, except for Aladdin, who does two. Seriously, why does the Scimitar have evasive? <laughs> <clears throat> Opponent's trying to target Cogsworth, so we know they have something. Another Megara. Interesting choice. Maybe should have held on to that when I quested with my Cogsworth. Are you going to be able to attack my character? Is that what's happening here? Okay. Like, I can't think of what's going to allow you to attack. <clears throat> I'm guessing the last card is Dragonfire. So we'll get that out of their hand. <laughs> there it was. Totally predictable. Because they tried to do it to Cogsworth. He's got a sword! Alright, we're going to trade Cogsworth for a Megara. Man, opponents put everything into- I mean, their decks did it. It did the thing. Like, they pretty much stayed neutral. Good- good for them. But now things get a little challenging. They better keep top decking those dragon fires. That five power is good enough. It actually does defeat the Hercules. Uh, so that's resist three now, so that actually doesn't defeat the Hercules. With the Scimitar, it does. With the Scimitar, it does. Man, that Scimitar's putting in some work. For such an awful card, it's doing... Doing some damage. Don't do it to Megara. Oh! Whoops! Yep, Rapunzel was your only way to get that... <laughs> Don't attack with Rapunzel. Don't attack with Rapunzel. Don't do it, opponent. There you go. It's got resist three. It will survive and defeat your Rapunzel. I'll do that. Let's take this out. And I will heal my Hercules. What a weird game. That scimitar just did so much work. And why does it have evasive? <laughs> oh boy. Ruby. Alright, Ruby Amethyst. Two points of damage to our opponent is just not going to cut it. So swords can actually go. I have the popsicle and the Noe. That's great. Let's get rid of everything else. There we go. Turn three. I do have a turn 4 play. I do want the turn 4 play to be the sardine can, but I don't have it. Let's go draw it right now, or not, or not, it's fine. Street Rat, Pascal. Okay, we do have lots of bodyguards. This tavern could actually be really big, and the beast not so important. It'd probably be our turn 4 play if I'm being honest. 
It's still tough. I still don't genuinely know what the correct answer is. Do you play the Hercules for the chance of the shift or do we play a prince? Like how much is the bodyguard important? Because if Herc does shift, uh, then you lose the bodyguard. Too expensive. Don't have my shift target. Tote's going to go into bodyguard mode. Opponent just showed us that they're running crab. Now, ideally, we are going to get, <laughs> we're going to get the tabard down before they can deal with the prince. All right. Street rat. Prince can sing this, so we're going to do that. Sing, defeat the street rat. Oh, there's the sardine can. Oh, they're both good. He just has more toughness, though. He lasts so much longer. But he's a lot harder to attack into. I think we do it. There we go. Perfectly defended. Now it's tough. Opponent actually can't interact with my characters except for attacking. And a board wipe on turn 7, but that's a little ways out. This isn't the turn for Maui, but next turn is. A resist 2 with on the Prince isn't exactly enough either for a Maui. Oh, it's a number of characters, so I could defeat the Minnie Mouse. We're going to miss an ink drop. We're going to risk having no ink at all. Do you need to be bodyguard? You don't need to be bodyguard. But let's go bodyguard anyway. All right, you'll sing it. We'll do the three damage to the Minnie Mouse. Let's get that out of here. Quest and pass. We missed an ink drop, unfortunately. And we're likely going to see a Maui right now. If there's no Maui, we just race as fast as we can before the turn 7 board wipe. No Maui. There goes big Aladdin. All right. Definitely inking, definitely playing the tabard. Setting ourselves up for, for the board wipe or for a Maui. We'll draw a bunch of cards off of it. And by a bunch, I do mean two. Perfect defense, man. Love it. Just need to get the Cogsworth down there. It's just such bad timing against Ruby. I mean, we're going to get up to 15 before they take out our board. So... Okay, we're going to get to 14 before they take out our board. Ooh, opponent is going wide. Bouncing the street rat so they can keep attacking. That makes sense. Makes me think that they don't have the board wipe though. Which is pretty big. They got it. Let's draw a card. Not the card I'm looking for, but... Sure. Well, let's see. I could shift. I do lose the bodyguard. I'm not going to draw the additional card. Let's see, the resist 2 does actually keep Hercules alive against the fox, though. It's just that we're coming into the board wipe turn. So I don't want to be too powerful. We're always questing here. So how do I put myself in a position where I'm not too powerful? <laughs> where they're not sure if the board wipe is good enough. Let's see, with my current hand, Cogsworth actually isn't that great. I could just hard cast the Hercules just to have them. 
I think we are inviting a board wipe at that point. But to do it that way means we get to draw the additional card with the tabard. Hercules is a little vulnerable right now. I can't think of too many targeted things in our opponent's deck, though. That's the great thing about Amethyst Ruby. Except for Dragonfire. Dragonfire is like the only targeted thing that they have. Naturally, they have it. <laughs> They have it in a meta where Dragonfire just isn't being played. Well, they're about to feel silly. They better hope they have another one. Yeah, when we're when we don't shift, that's the vulnerable turn. That's the turn that our characters can be targeted. When we hard cast him, that's tough. Isma, there goes the Cinderella. I mean, it's got to, right? You're going to let me draw two cards. And what's great is Cinderella is not gone. It goes back into the deck. The opponent's officially going to be on a plus five after this plus three turn. They are catching up. Don't need two cans. That's what's great about the can. You can always ink the rest. I will go bodyguard just so Hercules has the hex proof. The ward. It's not quite enough though. Like... I don't need the extra card draw from Beast. I need Beast to be able to quest. One better have another removal. They could quest all and then board wipe. Like, that's still a thing. Well, right now, we still have five that we're questing for. Hercules does die to an Yzma attack, though. So that's, you know, we slow them down on their questing. But they stop me from winning on the spot. Yzma has to attack. Do draw the additional card. Could really use a swords. I think a swords would just lock the game up. Oh, well, that was a big ol' whoops. <laughs> Ooh, neither of those are swords. And I know what you're thinking. I can't play Hercules and then shift. He would still have, uh, what's this game call it? His ink would still be wet. He'd still have summoning sickness. All right, opponent can quest for six. That's not lethal, funny enough. Unless they have the Aladdin. Let's see, I can't, I could play both Hercules. I could play both Donalds. During my turn, they have evasive, so they could technically attack. The mini on the following turn. That's definitely not what I want to do. Just trying to be careful of the board wipe. I was thinking, if I don't defeat the Yzma, I do risk losing to an Aladdin. Okay, and then if they do play an Aladdin, they quest for three. Gain two off of Aladdin's attack, and we lose the two, and we go back to 15. My board will be gone, so I'd have to have five lore in play to survive it, which I don't. So the way to do this is to attack and defeat the Yzma, and then play five lore worth of characters here, and hope they don't have another small Aladdin. Another small Aladdin would at that point be lethal. If I don't take down the Yzma, I just do lose to questing. So I have to defeat the Yzma. No questing. It took some thought process, but I think this is the best line for a greatest chance of victory. Obviously, there's always the board wipe. <laughs> 
You can only play around that so much. Quest, 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 board wipe. Naturally, they have it. <laughs> Oh, there's a fox. And they can replay the Hercules. Or the Hercules, the the Aladdin. <laughs> I just love Hercules so much. Come on, deck. Give me the swords I've been looking for. Or another Hercules. Hercules would win the game. Yes, you can't do anything upon it. Pass your turn. Tinkerbell. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's draw another card. Oh, boy. Tinkerbell's just not good enough. I can only defeat two characters, and then they quest for three and win. Oh, no! It was so close. And I can't make Herc dive to draw the card. Just not enough power on board. I can't even defeat the mini, actually. Oh, man. Nothing I can do. Such a close game. Playing around the board wipe when our opponent didn't have it the whole game. That's rough. But you have to play around it. There we go. Opponent still exists. Just think, there would still be a glimmer of hope here if the if there was interaction in this game, but there's no interaction, right? I could have possibly drawn <gasps> instant speed, kill all your characters. <laughs> and quest. Come on, opponent. There we go. Final.